assalamu alaikum we are studying applications of lorentz transformation for the case of length contraction we will consider an example of photon a photon is moving in x prime y prime plane x prime y prime plane a photon is moving photon photon having moved with speed of light so it is moving in this direction it is making an angle phi with horizontal axis this direction of motion so the velocity can be split can be separated into rectangular components so its velocity components will be vx prime and vy prime so this is the configuration of photon which is moving in x prime y prime plane which is moving in s prime frame of reference so we need to find we need to prove that in rest frame of reference x and y vx and vy we need to prove that the velocity components with respect to rest frame of reference vx square plus vy square equals to c square so these components vx prime and vy prime are vx prime is c cos of phi d by prime is c sin of phi we can use lorentz inverse velocity transformations lorentz inverse velocity transformations to prove this equation so the lorentz inverse velocity transformations are vx equals to vx prime plus v over 1 plus v over c square vx prime similarly vy equals to vy prime over gamma 1 plus v over c square to vx prime so we will use these two values vx and vy we will take their squares vx square and vy square and we'll substitute in equation 1. So taking squares in next step vx square plus vy square we will substitute the values of vx square and vy square vx is vx prime plus v over 1 plus v over c square vx prime plus vy square which is vy prime over 1 plus v over c square vx prime substituting the values of vx prime and vy prime vx prime is c cos of phi and it is c sine of phi so substituting the values vx prime is c cos of phi plus v over 1 plus v over c square c cos of phi plus c 
साइन ऑफ फाइव ओवर वन प्लस वी ओवर सी स्क्वेयर सी कॉस ऑफ फाइव होल स्क्वेयर वी बाय द वैल्यू ऑफ वी बाय देर इज आल्सो ए फैक्टर ऑफ गैमा इट कैन बी वन ओवर गैमा स्क्वेयर So it will be c cos of five plus v over one plus it will be v over c cos of five plus one over gamma square c sine of five over one plus v over c cos of five whole square. So we can take common. One over one plus v over c, cos of five whole square. So taking one over one plus v over c, cos of five whole square. Inside bracket, you will have c cos of five plus v this term. Square plus plus this vector gamma inverse square c square sine square phi. We'll open this square to further simplify this equation. One over one plus v over c. Cos of phi whole square, c square cos square phi plus b square plus two c b. Cos of phi plus gamma inverse square c square sine square phi. You can substitute the value of gamma inverse square. One over one plus v over c, cos of phi whole square, c square, cos square phi plus v square plus two c v, cos of phi plus gamma inverse square will be one minus v square over c square, c square, sine square phi. So we can multiply. This vector with this term one minus v square over c square. This term c square cos square phi can be combined with this term c square sine square phi. So in next step we can see so combining terms in next step we will have v x square plus v y square equals to one over one plus v over c cos of phi whole square two c square cos square phi Plus v square plus two c v cos of phi plus c square sine square phi minus v square over c square c square sine square phi. So we'll be taking LCM of this equation c plus v cos of phi square, and this c square denominator will be this c square cos of phi will be combined with this c square sine square phi. So c square cos square phi. Sine square phi plus 
v square plus 2cv cos of 5 minus v square sin square 5 will be c square over c plus v cos of 5 this will be 1 c square plus v square plus 2cv cos of 5 minus v square sin square 5 this term can be combined with this term c square over c plus v cos of phi square c square plus v square 1 minus sin square phi plus 2 c v cos of phi this term 1 minus sin square phi will be cos square phi so it will be c plus v cos of phi square c square plus v square cos square phi plus 2 c v cos of phi so now this is the complete square of c plus v cos of phi so it will be equal to c square over c plus v cos of phi square into c square plus it is complete square of c plus v cos of phi square so this term will be cancelled out with this term then we are left with vx square plus vy square equals to c square.